What is going on guys? It is your boy Kirsten McCall here coming today with a miner's life. Uh this series is gonna be take kinda take its time, but uh the series will be over. Uh interviews at the facility that we have. Uh if I give a tour to somebody. Um like in this interview, we gave a tour to Chili from Octominer and uh we sat him down at the desk and um got his take on what he is that he is mining. Um, his what he is looking for in the future as well as like particular projects that he is interested in and uh, what it is about those projects that interests him uh, we'll also go over of course Octo Miner of course because he does work for Octo Miner and we will talk a little bit about uh, website building WordPress uh, maybe some proof of proof of useful work as well so stay tuned I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, make sure you give it a like, subscribe, and build up in the, the little bell notification at the end. Uh, that way, you know that, that way I know you like this kind of stuff. This will be a little longer winded than normal content, so it is on a different day than usual. So catch you on the flip side, and uh, let's dig right in. But first, a word from our sponsor. Introducing the OctoMiner OctoTank 12 Home Immersion Cooling System. The future of cryptocurrency mining and home heating. Quiet, cool, and efficient. The OctoTank 12 allows you to overclock your ASIC miners up to 70% to get more performance for your money. Compatible with up to two ASICs. Fully plug and play system. The immersion system ensures that your miners stay cool. Perfect for garage or basement heating. Up to 150 square meters of heating capacity. Clean and minimalist design. Fully weatherproof. Designed to last for years. Save money while keeping your home warm and cozy this winter. Order yours now. What is going on guys? It is your boy Crypto Mikkel here. We are at the Family Mine and of course we have a special guest with us here today on the show. We got Chili from OctoMiner. What is up my dude? What's up guys? How's it going? Glad to be here. Yeah man, I, I appreciate you taking time out of your out of your day, driving down here to the farm, checking things out. You know, went and had some, went, went and ate some lunch or late breakfast and uh, yeah. just kind of hanging out, chilling, giving him a tour of the farm, showing him kind of what we what we kind of got going on here, some of our plans and visions for what we got going on in the future. And yeah, just, man, thanks for coming. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, no problem. You were probably one of the first people outside of uh, me and Nim that have like been here. You know, yeah, it looks sense. great. That's I it. love it. Uh, really like the setup that they have here. A um, lot of room, a lot of space. Um, really excited about just what these guys are working on and Kind of glad to be uh, able to come up here and visit, and yeah, so pretty stoked. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. That means a lot. I've been building this for we've been started. We started the company over like well over a year ago, but have this building. It's been almost a full year now. It's kind of yeah. surreal thinking it's been almost a whole year. Um, but we weren't actually able to mine half the time because waiting on power, and now we're waiting on more power because we already tapped out the power that we had. So now we're waiting on. Uh, good old power company to supply us with like 800 more amps and get to build out the rest of the farm which I'm excited for and lots of work to do of course because part of it right so I appreciate it man and I really love yeah, to get to come up here and kind of get and check it out it's always nice to get other people's views and opinions and kind of like see what other people think because it's really only me half the time you know uh, Nim comes here so often when he's traveling and uh, other than that <laughs> Just me doing doing the farm's work, as sure. uh, as my buddy said. He goes, "You're just a slave to the farm." And that's yeah. what, I, what I feel like, and I I don't mind it at all. So I uh, appreciate you coming out here and checking yeah. things out. And man, I just gotta know, like, what what got you started into mining? Like, I, I gotta know that. <clears throat> um, man. So in 2017, I started getting caught up in all the ICOs. 
Um, I will for sure admit I fell into the Big Connect trap. Oh, and man. I know, dude, trust me, I know. And I so was, like I was this close, man. Like I was there I, uh, and doing it, then all of a sudden. There was a couple happened. other ones that I, I I rode the wave. Um I think I got a majority of my profit out of those before things crashed. Right. Um it was a wild ride back there of uh Russian roulette with getting in on the ICOs before they pumped in the rug pulls and I'm trying to think. I can't really remember. And cloud mining. Cloud mining was a huge thing back then. I'm trying to remember the big cloud miners that were promoted on um, oh, man. Cloud, on oh, YouTube. It wasn't, wasn't Cloudflare. No, it was... Uh, Cloudflare is the... I, there was one of the was. main ones that had cloud mining. Yeah, I'm trying to think. And of it's I been so long. I can't remember. Been... But anyways, like I, um, I remember yeah, looking at that. those and... Um, but that was more of like not hardware mining. Right. Um, <clears throat> I can remember. At least not your hardware. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, I can remember back in 2014. No, maybe it was then. Um, er, early like 2000 teens <laughs> of uh, I paid like 10 or $11 for Bitcoin. And I, I, it was for a subscription to like a news group for like right. for Usenet, and so like I think I still have the email of like the transaction back somewhere in my Gmail, but like looking at it, like yeah, it's just like <laughs> oh my God, like it, it goes back to like the whole pizza thing, you know, right. and, like people just spending, they just have no idea. So, um, but fast forward to Christmas twenty. 19 i think um i started just kind of stumbling on youtube videos i think i found panda and some of the other people that were um doing stuff that right. were active at the time and uh my first rig i bought like five or six um 5700 xts there you go and made an open air a rig <laughs> One sim probably similar to this set of those. Yeah, actually, right? it was like frame. it was silver. It was like aluminum. I think I ordered it off like Walmart or something. Raw man. And, and yeah. like, um, so I just um, I'm trying to remember what other board I. I think it it might have been the um, BCT H HS one or H. It could the be. one that had like the twelve or thirteen like slots. Oh okay, yeah, the uh, H <coughs> BTC I forgot the name. H. Something. H2 or whatever it yeah. was. Yeah, so I did that and then had like um, a server power supply and like was trying to like learn like the, the breakout boards and like, you know, set that up. And so after um, I just, I got addicted to like mining in my garage and then had my first 240 plug installed by my neighbor and then kind of just, and my wife was like, what are you doing? I and, know. Uh, so like, um, but I mean, it was like instantly profitable. I mean, oh, yeah. that's when ETH was still on the rise, and uh, it just grew from there. And and so now today, like, um, I have like a hundred GPUs in twelve server cases, eleven or twelve, and uh, yeah, I'm mining flux on all of them. Yep. Hundred percent. Just switched over the last two from Neoxa to uh, Flux, and I'm all in. So yeah, just kind of uh, yeah, just living the miner's life, right? Yeah. So that's crazy. It's been so, a journey. I remember when I my first introduction to Bitcoin was actually uh, the old Diablo two servers, and I remember mm -hmm. selling and buying characters. Because you, you were able to make characters back then before I never before, before they uh, at before all. they they put in like the big bands and everything <laughs> like that, you could actually make a character and port it over to the online servers, and it was hundred percent hacked, like hundred oh percent. And I remember selling characters for Bitcoin back then. Hindsight twenty twenty, I wish I would have kept it. You yeah. know what I mean? But uh, that was my first introduction into it was was because of that. And That's awesome. I. Didn't really ever touch it after that, you know. I stopped playing Diablo 2. I had my I had my account eBay account banned because I was selling hacked stuff on eBay and it was a whole shebang. But uh, a couple years later, I ended up building a buddy of mine a mining a mining rig, mm. 
uh, back a bunch of R9s. What he had, a bunch of R9s. So it was quite a few years ago. Yeah. I mean, no one doesn't yeah. mess with R9s anymore. And I'm building out that rig, and I was like, that's pretty cool, man. And he goes, yeah, he goes, I hope that it, you know, it's going to take off one day. And I didn't touch it again in 2017. Living his best life, just. Is he as, still in crypto? Yeah, he's still in crypto. He just, he doesn't like dabble like as much as into it anymore. He made enough then that we just kind of living the life that he wants. More investment style. Yeah, yeah. He, he just kind of lives the life that he wants to live. That's, <clears throat> does he work? No. Oh, he, he, he did that well. He does like side jobs and does whatever he wants. Must be nice. Know what I mean, but doesn't like like he still makes income. You know what I mean? But he doesn't like do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he does do something to help bring in money because it's kind of like the main thing that I've talked to a lot of people about. Like, oh, I want to make a bunch of money off of Bitcoin and then not work again. And it's I'm hard like, to do that. How are you gonna do that? How yeah. are you gonna like? You expect that money to last forever? Like, yeah. You're spending money but not making money. Right. Yeah. Eventually, you're gonna have to make money. Like, it will have to happen at some. Um, especially when you have kids and the raises, like the price hikes of everything nowadays, you know, like you have to make money. Like it, it hands mm -hmm. your butts about it. So, yeah. but he makes it in his own, on his own accord, which I kind of do that now. You know, I'm kind of do things like my own leisure of what I want to do. And yeah, yeah, it's, it's nice freedom, man, but it adds like that extra level of like nervousness. Right. Cause For like sure. never know what's going to happen. Like you can't, or you, you don't know for a certainty that you're going and waking up every day and going to this job every day. You're going to get a paycheck on Friday. Like That's, that's all out the window at this point. You know? like yep. You're kind of just living by your own Run seat. Running away, yeah. And just, it's a whole different lifestyle. Yeah. And it's been an interesting... Rewarding? It's been rewarding, you know, because it's literally, you're working for yourself. Like, yeah. like you have no one else... Is paying you the money like if you don't do something that day or you don't go do a job something like you don't have money like what are you going to do at that point so like or if i don't go uh do a community job i don't make any extra crypto or anything like that so like it's it's been an interesting ride i know it's yeah. like, the reason why i'm bringing this up is because i know you said like you're really big like mental health do stuff like that and like yeah that yeah. is huge in the space and right now specifically <clears throat> because there's so much like chaotic energy and emotions going on in the market and no one's prepared for that ever like, no matter you can't be prepared for this like even yeah. if you're like well off like you can't you're never fully prepared right, uh, right. there's always something that kind of happens so it, it's been rewarding yes and very stressful that's for sure because uh, you just don't have that certainty. Yeah. You, you remove the certainty and like the comfortableness. I'm out of the comfortable like zone. I've been out of that zone for a while, and I think that's kind of what's helped me grow as like a person. Mm -hmm. It's because like we kind of talked a little bit earlier uh, about like I'm pretty introverted. I don't like talking a whole lot. I'm not a big like people person. Um, <clears throat> YouTube and yeah. stuff like that's kind of helped bring that out. I I can't even think of it time in school that I like wanted to do any kind of speaking they're telling you you got to go on the stage to talk like I tried <laughs> everything I could to not get up on that stage oh <laughs> I'm sick oh, yeah, yeah. not go to school that day you know just like avoiding it at all costs um, and now you're on YouTube just yeah, chatting to people you know having conversations with people that you you know over the internet and then you see them like face to face for the first time and you're like you can have conversations with and them chat one with of the them. first comments was like oh you're taller than i thought so yeah it, you, you have like that uh like that illusion like you no one like fully knows and then i have a lot of mirrors in my office at home so it makes me look shorter oh yeah yeah All the, the camera and the, the camera's yeah, probably yeah. up higher too you lots know, of that, tricks there's lots of tricks we, i do a very good job of hiding all the strings and stuff oh yeah yeah that's how it works man <laughs> so it it's, it's wild. I've yeah. enjoyed the ride that crypto's brought me so far. Yeah, for uh, sure. Mining specifically, I mean, it's kind of what I do now. Like, it's kind of, it's what brought me into crypto other than, like, the, the Bitcoin and uh -huh. uh, D2 characters. But, like, mining is what got me into it. Yeah, I've, I've been building sure. computers my whole life. Uh, I'm, at, I'm at the age, you know, the ripe age of 31 that I was at that point in time when computers were coming big. Sure. For, like, my generation. Yeah. Like, Anyone that's like my age grew up with a computer. Yep. Like yep. there is like 
There's, there's, that's not a thing anymore. You didn't grow up with a computer. Yeah. Like I remember, I've almost had a cell phone my entire freaking life. Like I can remember the day I got my cell phone, but I was like, you know, probably like 14, 15 at the time. But like nowadays, you have kids that are like seven, eight, Dude. six, or they have a tablet. It's, it's crazy. Like, I mean, I'm, oh, yeah, I literally have no room to talk because I have kids and my kids play with their tablets and like, it's just like flip, right? I think my first phone in high school was. The, the square rectangular white Nokia, get it, like the the brick phone, like yeah. playing Snake, that was yep. like the game, I'm like, oh, I remember I'll having, snake, you know? I remember having flip phones, man, like, I remember that, <clears throat> um, I remember having, it was an old Nokia as well, it was silver, and I remember flipping that thing open, and I felt so cool when I got to flip it open, then the razors came out, oh, yeah. I had razors forever, I broke so many razors, mm. sit them in your back pocket, and you go to yeah. school and you plop down on your chair and, and oh, you, because there's paper thin, you know. Yeah. Uh, they were just terrible. It was a terrible phone. <laughs> but it was, they sold so many of them. Yeah, they did. Um, you know, it, it, it's wild thinking like how far technology's come. And yeah. Now you got the next generation of kids. I have kids, <clears> you know, and I'm starting them into like not so much into crypto, but like into the awareness of crypto, the awareness of computers and yeah. the things that you see on the internet man like you know you have to like now you got to watch your kids extra because the things that i've seen on the internet and i'm oh, like dude i know it's scary like it's i don't, so I don't want them to like fall into that you know yeah, and yeah. it's like a whole nother level of like scarcity or scared being mm-hmm. scared about it but then like still like applauding like the strides that we've come sure like, as, yeah. like, as like yeah. a humanity like things have gotten so much better yeah but things sure. have gotten a lot more scarier at the same time and you gotta like be yep. able to add that um so i don't know it's been a wild ride i enjoy crypto uh, i enjoy mining building a farm has been my this has been my dream pretty awesome it's been my dream since like i started mining Impressed. crypto it was yeah. like i want to own a farm <clears throat> it's like, not I easy see. like it's not it really is not especially when you do a lot of it yourself like yeah i mean, like luckily, applaud I'm, you for all the the effort that's Trying to like fix this place up and get it up and running. I mean, like, I mean, you've seen the place and like it's yeah, it's nothing great. But then like, PLC I am literally only like, one person. Yeah. And like, you have showed you all the work that I've yeah, done, and yeah. it's literally been just me doing the work and like some of the framing and fans. And it's functional. Running and... uh, Ethernet cables, three hundred feet, you know, wiring everything myself, and like yeah. It's been a it's been a journey. Luckily, like, labor of love. Yeah, it is a labor of love. I've literally put blood, sweat, and <clears throat> tears into this building. Like quite mm-hmm. literally, I have blood on this floor. I had, literally, probably like three days ago. Like yeah. over there working in the in the back room, I was putting up the <clears throat> panel and I nicked my finger right on the edge of the metal, and it was just like immediately. Like you didn't even know it because like metal is so sharp, and you just, uh, you don't know it until like it's like last second. You look down, and you're like, when did I get that? Yeah. Oh, there's blood all over the floor. Yeah, great. <laughs> Luckily, we have epoxy floors, and it's, like, easy to clean up, and I'm just right. able to wipe it away real quick, you know, and get it up, but it was a, it's crazy, just having the labor of love, like you said, building the place, mm-hmm. and rewarding, that's for sure, and I really, like, appreciate you coming by, and, oh, 100%. like, giving it a look, because yeah, I, I absolutely love it, um, this makes the first, like, interview here at the facility, too, like, me and Nim did an interview here, but back when the Intel, this is, this is an Intel ARC, uh, or the A380 on this one, and it when we first got it, so many issues and drivers weren't up to date and encoders weren't up to date. Now things are better. Um, there's literally just an update today for OBS that helped out, and it mm-hmm. seems like it's even working out even better than it did the last time that I was here making nice. recording. And so, absolutely love it. And uh, yeah, man, anything that you would like love to like share with anybody, like. Um. And crypto is going through a, a growth right now, a breakdown and a growth with just all the stuff in, on Twitter crypto and right. news media outlets that pick it up, crypto news websites. Um, it's kind of, it's good to see. And then also with the, the recent green we've seen the last couple of days, um, that's been encouraging. So I guess just keep at you know whatever plan is working for you and just you know um have have fun with crypto and you know just um yeah i mean that's about 
it probably just yeah I, I, the the extra green that we've had the past couple of days is like a good reminder that things yeah. are okay yeah right like yeah. nothing is like terrible like, you know life could be 10 times the market worse will than come it is. back you know we're on cycles that's <clears> kind <throat> of the way it is and like if you've been in crypto long enough like you know that you were at the time in the cycles where we should start seeing green we don't know how much green we don't know what the price yeah, of bitcoin like, will be tomorrow yeah, yeah, exactly. but like all we know is that this year we shouldn't see a red year but that means all we have to do is close above what we ended at last yeah. year which was 17k i think so that's all we need to be above <clears throat> to have a green year is 17k yeah and we're there now i think today was like 20 something this morning we touched I 21 this morning man like yeah. it was almost 22 like yeah, i was, was cool. rather surprised when i got up and like you have those notifications and you're like bitcoin's here and i'm like i haven't seen those notifications in a long time right, yeah. <laughs> like, that's nice that's encouraging it's pretty cool i think right that. now we're at 20,790. okay so it's even gone up since this morning yeah, we're up 7% over the last 24 hours, and Flux is up 0.58 cents right now. So nice. we are up a little bit. 58, 58 cents on Flux. Nice. So that's pretty freaking pretty. Free, free. Yeah. Hey, man, that's, I, I like it. I like yeah. it. So, you know, that, it helps kind of keep people, like, in a better mindset. Um, but, guys, like, remember... It may not last forever. Like, right. could be quite honest. By the time like y'all are actually watching this, like, Bitcoin's probably could not even be twenty thousand dollars. Forty thousand. Oh, <laughs> I wish. I wish, man. That'd be like, amazing. Uh, we all wish. <laughs> but uh, it, it could be less than that by the time this video comes out. It could be more. Yeah. Uh, price of crypto fluctuates literally by the second. Uh, it, it's a whole other world. Uh, moves faster than stocks, in my personal opinion. I was never really a big like, stock trader. I never really, yeah, got, I, I never really got into all of that. Yeah. Uh, I had big financial classes in like, high school and stuff like that. And kind of brought my eyes into like mm -hmm. knowing it. Now they don't teach you like that at all in school. Now like that's not even an option. I don't even think finances are even an option in classes. It'd be interesting if they ever introduce like crypto classes. So Lock, like we blockchain. are uh, OU, which is uh, <coughs> Oklahoma State University. Yeah. They offer blockchain classes. Like it is like a legit thing. Like, they have blockchain at the college level. At the college. So yeah, yeah it'd be which cool. Is, to, which yeah. is nice. I wish they would kind of bring it into like bring it further adoption down into like into like schools. Probably will. You know, like over public the years. schools. Yeah. People that are in high school. People that are like literally they're about to go into their next step of their life. Right. And like, it's like a they foundation. should be prepared yeah. for like everything that's out there because like, be they definitely prepared. don't prepare you enough for what's out there. Right. Yeah. Uh, so I think it'll be awesome. Uh, I have a few people that have actually they're in schools, and I've talked to them a little bit to kind of like see if that's like an option. Like I would love right, to like right. I would love to go and like help facilitate that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I have kids in school, and I would love for my kids to learn about that. Um, I think it was last year that my oldest daughter actually came into in like in home, and they play a game in their school. That's called it's called Hackney. And literally, you have to guess their password to steal their Bitcoin. <laughs> Not kidding. Like, it is, a, like, a legit thing. That's it awesome. is Bitcoin. They, they say that we're private keys. Like, full on. Like, that is a, it is a game That's they played in class. Yeah. And I was, like, I live pretty far out, like... I'm not, glad to see I'm that. Not in the, I'm not in the city. You know what I mean? So, like, I was surprised yeah. to see that. And, uh, of course, my oldest was, like... My dad actually does a lot of Bitcoin stuff, and I was like, "Shh." He knows how to play hack me. And I was like, I was like <laughs> and she was like extremely good at it too. She kept taking all the other classes. Oh Bitcoin, my gosh, and I was like, funny. I was like, runs was, in the family. Remember, runs in the family. She's like, <laughs> she's all they have to do is put their passwords, and she goes, she goes, and they always like name it's like their name or like their favorite color, and I was like. I said, that's literally how it is in real life, too. I said, people do that. I was like, that's bad practice. Or like, at a one or an exclamation, it's like... Okay. Password is password. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you're like, that's not very secure. Or space, or just nothing. Uh, space. Like, those, one, those ones get me. I was like, that's... But yeah, she did that in class, and I that's was awesome. like, that's pretty cool. And yeah. the conversation she had with her teacher... Apparently her teacher's husband is into that too, so that's probably why they played the game. Oh yeah, you know? see, I mean that's pretty so, cool. So which is though. which is cool. Influencing. It's influenced in there, and yeah. that the school like kind of allowed it in too. Yeah, you know? yeah. Because a, a teacher has to like a, get everything approved mm -hmm. before they can bring it into the school, and teach it, and like had it added in their curriculum. So, like they had to have that approved by the school board. So like that is cool to hear. Though. It's interesting to know that, and that they are. <clears throat> 
somewhat moving in that direction. Yeah. And I've put in a word with the principal, like, maybe I can talk to him, you know. Awesome. Yeah. I would love to, like, grab some people that are even more knowledgeable than me, of course, <clears> to, like, help bring in for this. Uh, maybe, like, Seth. Like, Seth Estrada would be perfect at that. Yeah, yeah. Because he has a so higher of a standard of, like, knowledge than I do. Be cool. And bring in, like, maybe you and Vega. People that, like, do different aspects. Because yeah, crypto yeah. is, like, so large and vast. Like, it's not just mining. It's not just trading. Right, right, yeah. Uh, not just, like, building blockchain code or developing smart contracts. Like, there's so much in, Facets, crypt in crypto yeah. and blockchain in itself that you don't. You can kind of pick and choose what you, like, enjoy. Right. There's even gaming in, in blockchain now, you know? That's like, people that, very cool, yeah. People play, uh, we got Bryson, literally has his career where he just streams on you on Twitch and plays blockchain related games like that's all he does and he has a great following pretty amazing you, can do you know that. and exactly but that's <clears throat> yeah. that's a thing now is that you can do that and it kind of brings that extra not really like revenue but self-freedom yeah because yeah. when you go and like do that for other companies you don't get that same kind of reward or feeling it's you're doing it for somebody else still yeah whether right. it's what you want to do and what you love you're still doing it for someone else yeah. and it's not for yourself like the farm here is like it's for me like for me and like the community and them mm -hmm. it's not someone else's dream and i'm just here working it yeah this is my dream <laughs> so it's like i get to enjoy that and it's cool it's, it's a different uh cool. it's a different yeah. feeling definitely freeing in the aspect for sure so man uh one last question is uh are you still mining are you gonna keep mining yeah, um, I have... As long as you can. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep mining. Um, for now, it's Flux. Um, right. If <clears throat> other, other projects come up, like, I'm always, I'm always open. But um, my, my background is in WordPress and right. project management. And so kind of I've kept my finger on the pulse with the Flux and their team of, um, like, the... WordPress on blockchain coming out on their network. And so it's uh, definitely something, um, you know, I'm, I'm interested in to kind of see how that turns out. And um, <clears throat> yeah, I think there's, I think it's going to be interesting to see once it's officially launched, um, how people adapt to that. Because um, right. it's, it's literally, it's so decentralized, like, um, you can't just go to like, uh, go contact support. Like, hey, this isn't working. Like, it's you. It's not like a, a, a traditional web host. Right. It's like, you know, it's on the blockchain. You're like, okay, well, what do you do? How do you troubleshoot it? So, um, I'm excited about it, and I think that it'll be it'll be definitely um, at first it'll fit a specific audience to right. that's it's, trying it it's out. A small niche at first. Yeah, and you know, um, while the bugs get ironed out and just uh, feedbacks collected. Um, but I think it's got a lot of potential and it's really cool to see them pioneering um, that application uh, that's open source because WordPress right. is so big and adopted and flexible that like it makes perfect sense to right. like choose that. So so that's that's a big part of Esporting flex is, uh, you know, um, I missed the State of the Union this morning, but um, you know, I'm excited to go back and watch it and kind of see like what the roadmap looks like and uh, everything. So, um, but yes, I'm still gonna mine. I'm still gonna, you know, as long as I can <coughs> um, just keep grinding and uh, paying the power bill, uh, <laughs> you know, so keep those lights turned on for the miners. Really? Uh, yeah, we'll keep going. So it's. Really? Uh, I don't see me stopping really anytime soon at all. So, and uh, this morning on Flux of the Union, the next parallel asset was Algorand. Was, was, oh, cool! Was nice. The, uh, was the proposed next? <clears throat> I heard one. a lot of people have been wanting that. Yeah, it seems to be like good. So. Uh, they have a lot of good community following, from what I've understood. Nice. Uh, so, I don't. Cool. I don't hold any Algorand. I don't, yeah, I, mean, I don't think. Either. I don't think I've ever really held it or like dug too far into it other than like, what the project is and kind of familiarize myself with it um, but that I've ever bought or held um, so 
with the WordPress thing, how do you feel that will help out with like sustainability of like the website itself? Uh, would mm. you see um, DDoS attacks? Would that would that affect so much of a WordPress website that's running on Flux? Would that deter anything? Yeah. Would, so, or would it be the same? <clears throat> so I've I've kind of kept an eye on and ask some of the devs some questions in the the right. Discord um, Flex Discord chat of things that they're going to be implementing. So for decentralized WordPress site, um, without like knowing all the ins and outs of like the back end of what's open and what's not, like. I think that's something that I'll have to kind of take a look at later as far as the, on the security side. Right. Um, <clears throat> I think that looking at some of their guides they have, they're recommending like having a reverse proxy with Cloudflare like enabled on the free tier. I think that's going to help with lower bot attacks and like scraping and stuff right. like that. Um, <clears throat> I think what's interesting is how their architecture will need to be supported for uptime and i know that they you know have the instances on the nodes for each install right um and just testing that to kind of see how that uh answers dams of like 99 percent inch reliability uptime um because it is one it is more than one node per website right like it uh whenever each, you set it up from what i understand it's each node has a separate install but then they sync together the database and the file system okay so and that's within like minutes so if let's say on website node a you install a web uh, a plugin then it you know has to copy over to the other nodes and then the database is synced as well okay so it's like and it's so that's all load balance through i think like their their fdm domain manager so right um but again, like once it's launched, we'll kind of have to see like what How that is. Works. And uh, I, I use a, a, um, a third party tool um, that allows me to like, you install a plugin and then you can manage the plugins. Up to, it has uptime monitoring, it does offsite backups. Um, it does malware scanning. You can remove malicious stuff directly from that dashboard. Um, uh, does performance that you can tie in Google Analytics. There's a lot it does. Um, and so that's that's a tool I kind of want to benchmark and, right. and test against once it's launched and kind of see how that performs. Um, so, yeah, but it's uh, I think it's got a lot of potential. So Right, because yeah, the reason why I ask this is, you know, Cloudflare is notorious <clears throat> for getting, like, just hammered yeah. all yeah. the time. Like, it just it is a constant issue with them. yeah and it's not even their fault like it's just because it's they are the most they have their used. Name. they're yeah. the most used i mean like mm -hmm. almost every website you go to if it's waiting you see the cloudflare logo pop yeah. up and you're like they use cloudflare and you're like so you have to wait and right. whenever cloudflare is down like so much is down and it, and it yep. affects like so much and that's the reason why i asked that is because it's it would help dramatically because that is and that is their number one issue. Yeah, is yeah. being uh, is being attacked, and I would love to see something that kind of that would help decentralize that and keep that still being secure. Right. Because yep. you you always have to trade something. Like nothing can be perfectly secure and right, fast. Yeah. Like and you, that's you have to you have to give up something. That's what I so, want to try to look into more once it's launched to try to see like what what does this really entail? Like right. you know. What is the weak spot that they have to like yep. leave a little bit weaker to make everything else better? Right. Yeah. Uh, that's and that's good because it'll give them feedback and um, you know report stuff that um, you know can look into and just right. improve on. So I think that's good for the community and for them. Nice. I, I appreciate <clears throat> you like answering that. Yeah. It's like I know that, I know you know how to do like WordPress and things like that. So that's not a question I've been able to like ask somebody else because uh, no one like has technically worked with it yet and like played with it like you said you kind of dealt with it a little bit and that you're yeah. following yeah. that project specifically on flux right so the reason why like yeah i was like i, I gotta ask him then yeah it'll, it'll no one else has kind of answered that question for yeah me. yeah um so i i would love to see it happen 
to be honest. I'm really interested in the proof of, proof of useful work. Mm -hmm. uh, me, myself, personally. Uh, going into school, I, I've built a little bit of uh, machine learning before. Uh, I've done some AI rendering. I've made a mining rig, like, make digital art before. Like, I've done that. That's awesome. And it, it's a whole other world. I've never man. done that, like, so and that's kind of cool. And it's, a, it's fantastic what you can do with, with yeah. a computer. You know, and like what's the extra resources? So like proof of useful work has been like an at home like watch for me because it intrigues me because there is a lot of implementations for that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you go and rent rendering power, like, you don't know where you're getting it from. Yeah. You're getting it from someone else's farm, like you can be getting it from AWS themselves. Like mm -hmm. you don't know. Uh, and to be honest, most like servers and most data centers and cloud rendering machines, they're really running like three-year-old hardware. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not efficient. Uh, they still really love the 10 series. Uh, mm -hmm. I got friends that work in data centers and they still run 10 series. Yeah. Like, they love the 1080s, like 1080 Ti's and 1080s and the old Teslas. Like mm -hmm. they love those because the compute power that they had yeah. is still unmatched, mm -hmm. like per performance. Like you have 3080s and, and 4090s, but they're so expensive. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, they have hundreds <coughs> and hundreds of cards. They're not going to want to, like, dump those for way undervalued to yeah. go buy something that's 10 times more expensive, something mm -hmm. that still does the same job. Right, And yeah, still does exactly. it well. Yeah. Like, it's not like it's lost any performance. Like, yeah. they could shave lots, 100%, you know what I mean? 1080s aren't, they aren't the most efficient thing in the world. Especially when you're not undervolting them, because in that situation you're not. You're not mm -hmm. overclocking. You're not undervolting. The card is just running and yeah, at its best full, potential. Yeah. 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 And so it's you can only imagine how much like power that uses. Uh, I think even I was doing a thing the other day, and Chat Chat B, GBT spends I think over like over a million dollars a day in infrastructure as a nonprofit company. Like, how do you do that? Uh, it just doesn't make any sense to me yeah. and like how much that actually costs them and to think that if it costs a million dollars a day mm -hmm. to operate what's that electricity cost like how much of that is electricity good question yeah. you know what I mean like you want to like give us miners a hard time go <laughs> check that out like yeah. you know what I mean like especially yeah, right, start especially right now their wait list yep now they're so, starting to start charging yeah. um, and that's mainly because Microsoft is buying them out uh, oh, okay. Microsoft is taking over control of the company. Four, they're doing forty nine percent, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah they're that taking forty nine percent. Where that's a lot. <laughs> uh, Open AI still has like <clears throat> the say, but Microsoft has the the dollars in the Crazy. company. Crazy. And you're just like, wow. Yeah. I mean, they even asked people. They were like, you know, what would you be willing to pay for Chat GBT? Okay. And I'm like, at least they're gonna ask the community. And it was like zero dollars, two dollars. Like five dollars and eight dollars yeah per okay month. so i was like at least they're like giving you an option and right. like giving yeah. you a heads up like it's coming and it's coming soon yeah. because they def desperately need it in my opinion because i don't know if you've mm -hmm. used chat gbt i have and i know that it needs to get days, updated to 2022 yes. past couple of days have been rough man. <coughs> i don't think i've been able to use it for a couple of days like <laughs> the site's been down that's just so much overhead yeah. because everyone is it's using it because it's like a huge viral, thing right now yeah. and uh they use a lot of overhead, and like you said, they're they are still out of date. Right. Uh, yeah. They're updated to I think it was November of 2021. Okay. It was like the if you ask it, it's what it tells you. So it's like my database is updated okay. until yeah. blah 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 2021, and uh, they're already working on chat on chat, or it's called GBT4, is the newest implementation of. Yeah. That. Okay. And that is up to date. Now, oh, that's good. That inch, that one really interests me because it's that's scary. Like, think about how far we've come since 2021. Think about like yeah. all like the smart contracts, everything that we've done, and all the like, info that's not in this database. Yet. Yes, like yeah. everything that's happened. Like, there's been so much development <clears throat> in blockchain development, uh, and even in the financial sectors. Like, yeah, I can only imagine what that bot, like what that robot, is gonna be like. Like, it could just be interesting. I think it's going to be dangerous, in my personal opinion. Yeah, like, the be, amount of things yeah. that it's going to know. And yeah. people are going to ask it and get responses for it. And I'm just kind of <laughs> like, hmm. 
the next iteration of the internet. Yeah, it's a big it, thing, yeah. It, it, and it is. Um, <clears throat> everybody likes to say the word Web3, but it's like... Too I, broad. I, Too I like broad just, of a topic or it is. Like, phrase. It's, it is. I, I always see, I see Web3 as a category. Yeah. It, it, is, it yeah. is a category. It is not, yeah. it is not a technology. It is not a thing. Like, it yeah. is a broad oh, yeah. sector of yeah. things. Um, if you go look at like what they call Web Two, it's not one thing. It's yeah. a crap ton of things. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I mean. And mm-hmm. even Web One is like a everything. That, everything that we run on now is still even Web One and yeah, even into Web Two. Yeah. And you're just like, I don't get it. And you're like, it's right. just a category. It's the best way to like categorize something that's coming out now. You're it's like, a buzzword. It, it totally it has I, become a buzzword. One of my least favorite buzzwords, to be honest. But it's used. And uh, it's not like incorrect, but it's definitely a more broader term than yeah. a singular thing. For sure. So like, I'm interested to see what, how that'll develop, you know, see that kind of come full circle. Do you know when that's coming out, number four? So I would assume probably mid, mid-year. Okay. I would, I would yeah. assume because I got to catch up and finish like releasing it. But I know that they were like working on it and finalizing it. So. I'm assuming they finalized the code base of the knowledge that it knows. Okay. I'm assuming that's what they probably finalized. It's because yeah. we're at a new year, they have a set date where they can set for a cutoff, and now they can just kind of implement that back and not have to like move forward. Now, right, now they're kind right. of at that point where they can work on what they need to. Yeah. Uh, I would see probably like maybe Q3, latest Q4 before it like finally comes out. Uh, <clears throat> but I can only imagine like what it would be like and ChatGPT is like said to said to integrate it when it comes in. Like it'll it'll learn it and integrate it. So it'll know some crazy stuff, mm-hmm. man. Some crazy stuff. Yeah. So that all that kind of interests me about like what Flux is gonna do with for sure, and it's because that yeah. is the it's, wheelhouse for that. For sure, yeah, uh, it is doing that kind of stuff. AI yep. Yep. learning, machine learning, uh, rendering. A super piece of work machine could do that. Um, but that comes with a huge caveat that it's not for everyone. Yeah. This machine sitting right here would be able to because it has like, you know, a Ryzen 5900X, yeah. you know, I think 20 gigabytes of RAM at the moment. And like, technically this would do, this would be okay. Um, by four lane or by 16 and then by four on the rest. So <coughs> you're good there because you can't run normal rigs, DCIs, like yeah. a for like huge instance like an optiminer right an original optiminer can't be used for proof of useful work right because yeah. the resources aren't there um could they be upgraded maybe uh that's like a whole other like topic of hardware but i'm really interested to see like what that's going to be like yeah not yeah. everyone's going to be able to do something like that right and i'm sure there's going to be more work that people will have to do in order yeah. to maintain something like that uh watching it more regularly having good electricity rates because yeah uh something like that you're not under you're not going to be undervolting it uh maybe whenever it swaps to like mining because it will be kind of like a balanced machine Mm. and it'll be able to like mine flux as well if it's not being used for any work right Right, and useful work it's still mining and supposedly they'll you'll be able to like have clocks for that and it'll and it will start downgrading and oh, undervolt cool. itself, yeah. and hopefully that will all be integrated into something like iOS. But I, I don't, I don't know how that'll all work because that's a whole other animal. Right. Yeah. Um, so I'm interested to see what that'll do. If it's a good enough machine, you could be able to run a node on it as well. Yeah. Um, that true, machine maybe. could literally be a triple threat. It could be a wow. miner, a proof, proof of useful work miner, as well as a node operator. That'd be so sweet. Like, it would be an all-in-one machine. And, you know, like, you would have to, like, you split shares between node operators and proof-of-work miners. I don't know if they'll implement in, like, third it, you know, and put it in, like, proof-of-useful work, miners, proof of, uh, and yeah. node operators. So I don't know if they'll tie in both of the miners or split it up into thirds. Um, but it, the more you can do for them, the better off your pie is mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. 100% of something is better than 15% of something. Yeah. Uh, and you're doing the same thing with the same system. <coughs> so it, it would yeah. be beneficial uh, for people to like have something like that and being able to do it. 
because a lot of people won't be able to with the I think it's a big misconception in my opinion. A lot of people think they'll be able to do it. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people won't. It's because right. of the, the demanding resources that it'll cost you. Sure. It'll cost you up front too, because yeah. servers aren't cheap. And hopefully hopefully that their team will be putting out stuff to like help people walk through like right. here's what here's what's gonna be coming out, here's like what you need to prepare for kind of a thing. Like that would be really helpful. So yeah. if you're listening there you go. There's a tip. Dan the man. I hope you're listening. Probably, probably already know that because Dan's a smart guy. So, Super smart. Super smart, yeah. Good old Dan the man. That kid this morning, though, <laughs> on that Flux uh, State of the Union. Yeah, though. I'm looking forward to watching that. So. That kid's smart as all could be, man. I, His dude, name was Alex, right? Yeah. 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 It's, he's smart, man. You just look at it and you're like, that's... <clears throat> yeah. That kid is that kid's going places. <laughs> for sure. Sky is the limit for him. Uh, it's just wild to see that. So, man, I don't want to keep you here too much longer. I know you got to be getting on the road. <laughs> no you worries. Gotta, you got to be getting back home to the fans and everything. Yep. So, uh, I appreciate you like yeah, coming thank out, you for having me. Appreciate touring the yeah, barn, for sure. going to grab some lunch. Yep, that was good. Here, uh, re- helping me like record some video. Yeah, like, absolutely, uh, my pleasure. I absolutely love it, man. I, I appreciate you coming, and I can't wait for you to come out again, or maybe vice versa, me come out that way. And <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll go see some stuff out there. You know, yeah. you got some tech out there. I've uh-huh, been, been wanting yeah. to go see him for a while. Yeah, and we have. He's about two hour, two and a half hours away from me, so. And it's beginning of the year, <clears throat> so I mean, there's. So many events that are going to be coming up here yeah, soon. Be... That, and there's so many that like, mining disrupt will be in Texas this year again. They do everyone. They do one every year in Texas. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and go to that one this year. Now that I'm not having my baby this time. I had a, yeah, right. I was having yeah. a baby last time that happened, and I was like, that's, just, uh, that's uh, out of the question. Kids, <laughs> they they mess up plans all the time. So yeah, that's part of it. Yeah. Part of it. But I appreciate it, man. Yeah, Thank you for welcome. coming and having a good old time here at the facility. Yep. And, Doing this interview with me, yeah, kind of just chit chatting, and hope you have a safe drive home. Thank you. Hope you keep on hashing. Always, always, man. And man, any, any closing words for you? Nope. I think you said it. Thanks for having me on, and I uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your week or weekend whenever you watch this. And uh, appreciate it. And this guy's amazing. So keep on supporting his channel. I appreciate it, buddy. It means yeah. a lot. And we'll see y'all on the next one, guys. Much right. love. Peace out. Stay see savage. Ya. And remember. Keep on mining. See y'all next time. I hope you guys really enjoyed that as much as I did. Um, he is a fantastic person, and I was greatly uh, humbled that he got to come by and chit chat and sit sit down and uh, tour the mine as well. It means a lot to uh, share what me and them are building and um, show kind of people what I'm putting my blood, sweat, and literal tears mainly literal blood as uh, we talked about in the earlier but we will talk later about this guys i hope you all enjoyed this make sure you hit the like button subscribe button the bell notification so you know every time that we go live here on the channel or we post videos as well as please put a comment down below if you enjoyed this and please say hello to chili we'll see y'all next time guys much love peace out keep on minding and stay savage see y'all next time